Hello folks, welcome to the part 29 of this video series, real certification questions on AZ900. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. There is this new playlist on AZ900 plus there is one old playlist. Both the playlists are very relevant even now. Let's jump into the questions. So you have multiple VMs in uh, Azure environment just like this VM1 and VM2 and what you need to ensure is name VM1, this VM1, this should be accessible from the internet. So this this is your www from the internet over HTTP. So the solution they have given is they are going to modify the DDoS protection plan. Will this meet the goal? DDoS, the full form is distributed denial of service. These attacks are largest some of the largest availability and security concerns see if you are changing the ddos protection plan that means you are doing something with the pricing for this question this is not the need okay this will not solve the problem of you know vm1 being accessible from the internet so the answer in this case would be no let's move to the next question there are three of them let's go ahead with the first one so the first one says you can create custom roles okay to control access to resources yes you have to do it in real life this is something which we do very often so the answer is yes now a single user account can be assigned to multiple Azure roles yes you can do a one to many there and the third one says a resource group can have owner role assigned to multiple users yes the answer is yes in this case as well see what is a resource group it is a container that holds related resources for example in your organization if you have an hr team a finance team a sales team so you would like to containerize their resources in resource groups so there might be a resource group purely for hr purely for finance purely for marketing and sales and the owner role can be assigned to multiple people for the resource group hr it can the owner can be vp hr it can be a pmo hr multiple people can have the owner roles that is pretty logical so the answer for all these three is yes let's move to the next one what it says is after you create a vm so you have a vm created this is your vm what you need to do to allow connection to port 8080 on the virtual machine. See, we use NSG, network security groups. You can define security rules, and this is how you do it. You define the source or destination, you select the protocol, you select the direction, whether it is inbound or outbound, and then you can give the port range. In this case, it is port 8080. Take this example where we are creating an inbound rule and this, these are the port destinations and the protocol is any and you have allowed access. So the right answer here is NSG. But let's look at others. What is a virtual network gateway? It helps you to connect your premises gateways, like connect your workloads in Azure virtual network to your on-premises sites. Here, the requirement is not that. This is, you have to allow connections on port 8080 on the virtual machine. Very different. Let's look at virtual network. See, this is the fundamental building block for your private network in Azure. It helps your resources, Azure resources. For example, you have your VM. You can have multiple VMs which will securely communicate with each other and the internet and the on-premises networks. Again, this question is not about that. Let's look at route table. This is used to assign routes to each subnet in the virtual network. Very different purpose. And hence, all these three answers are, in, are incorrect, these three options. We will lock our answer as NSG and move forward. Let's look at this one. This is the last video of, sorry, this is the last question of this video. See, you plan to deploy so many virtual machines. These are all virtual machines. Okay. 
and you need to control the ports that the devices on the internet can use on these virtual machines. For example, you, you can say that only port 8080 can access, can have, can be open for internet access. So what will you do? Again, I would not go deep. This is again an NSG question. It can be used to filter network traffic to and from the Azure resources. And that is what you need because you want to control the ports that devices on internet can use. And that is how you can do it through filter. Filters will help you do that. But what about other options like AD role? See, role, if you have a IAM user and you can assign Active Directory roles, the roles will not help you control the ports or internet access. Let's look at C. C talks about Active Directory groups. Groups are logical things inside the groups you will have so many active directory users so again the groups will not help you with this sort of control and keyword keyword is purely used for storing or safeguarding cryptographic keys and other secrets like passwords certificates for encryption in transit and so on hence Keyword will also not fit the bill. There is no requirement to store passwords or certificates. So our answer is NSG. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. A lot of effort goes into analyzing certain things and presenting it the way so that you can grasp the concepts. Hence, I request you to subscribe and hit the like button, which helps me keep myself motivated. Please do not forget to visit this playlist on AC900. This is the new one. There is one old one as well, which is still relevant. Plus, there are so many other playlists on Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud certifications. This brings us to the end of this part. See you in the next part. Bye.